It's Tuesday of Passion Week. Jesus and his disciples went to Bethany to spend the night. They left the temple area in Jerusalem, spent the night in Bethany. And on their way back in on Tuesday morning into the temple area and courtyard, the disciples pass along the fig tree that we spoke about yesterday. If you'll recall, Jesus cursed the fig tree because from a distance it had these uh, beautiful leaves. But as he got closer, uh, there was no fruit. Seeing the fig tree withered this day, the disciples are amazed and they call out to Jesus. Hey, look, look at the fig tree. It's it's withered. And Jesus replies saying, oh, does that surprise you? Are you shocked? And then Jesus makes this incredible statement about prayer and his disciples. He there, there are a number of times where he does this in scripture, where he says grandiose, magnificent statements about prayer. He says, I tell you the truth, that if you believe anything in prayer, in my name, if you ask for it, it will be done to you. If you have the faith, if you believe and do not doubt, you can say to that mountain, get up over here and go into the sea and it will. What a magnificent promise. In fact, the New Testament's filled with a number of those promises that you do not have because you do not ask. You do not have because when you ask, you ask with the wrong motives. But if you and I as followers of Jesus would ask things according to his will, in his name, we would see incredible, magnificent works that could only be explained by the hand of God. If you tie it back to yesterday's movement where the fig tree is cursed because it has the appearance of beauty, but there's no real fruit. And then Jesus entering into the beautiful temple and yet his house is not a house of prayer because there's no fruit on the inside. And now Jesus is teaching to his disciples that you and I, as his followers, have the privilege, we have the honor that he sits at the Father's right hand and bids us to come, to come and ask for magnificent things in faith, according to his will, according to his name, what will he do? This is his teaching on Passion Week. As he's about to go to the cross, as he is about to take on our sin and shame and redeem us and rise from the grave, his teaching to you, dear disciple, is if you will ask and if you will believe you will see magnificent things. Church, this Tuesday of Passion Week, as we move towards Good Friday, as we move towards Resurrection Sunday, will you and I, will we, we be known as men and women of prayer who call upon our Lord, who trust in God so much that we don't rely on our own strength, but rather we rely on his strength? I pray that that is the case. We'll see you Resurrection Sunday. God bless you.